All right, I got my truck in here today to do some repairs to it. Uh, the other day I was driving it, lost power steering, and um, had a power steering leak. The power steering cooler failed. So I got a new aftermarket one from Napa. This one's about the same size as the original one that's in there. And for a while, my windshield wipers have only been working on high. So I got a new... I didn't even mess with it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's the wiper motor, so I just got a new motor too, but we'll, uh, I'll go over how to diagnose, diagnose that before I actually put it in. So let's get started on that power steering cool. Alright, so here it is right here. So when this broke on me, I was on a job, so all I did, I went to, uh, I was right next to a hardware store, I went there, I got a double barb fitting, and just put the two lines back together and filled it back up so I could keep driving. Now, a lot of people would probably even just leave it like that, but I'm kind of even questioning how important this power steering cooler actually is. I mean, how hot do you think that actually gets? It's not like you're sitting there turning the wheel back and forth continuously the whole time. Alright, I just put that tape on there to uh, make sure so it's no metal on metal with this mount. Alright, that's ready to go back in. Alright, that's mounted. Now just put this on. All right, now it's time to change this wiper motor. So this is what I'm looking for. I don't see it anywhere on here. It might be hidden under this cover here. Oh, there it is. All right, to get the wiper arms off this truck, you pull this tab right here and then pry it off and it releases it. Oh, that looks like the same part to me. That's good. Four wires go into it, and the uh, and it looks like a ground wire. So what it what you probably have here, one of these is probably high speed. One's probably low speed. One is. Maybe there'd be a wire for intermittent, and then you would have a wire for off. See, when, when you turn off your wipers, this doesn't lose power, because if it just lost power, 
it would stop anywhere you turned it off. So this actually has power all the time, even when the wipers are off. That way they stop at the bottom. I'm sure this is a ground. All right. That's nice, they gave you new screws. Alright, that might need to be adjusted. Because the wipers may be stopping in the middle of the windshield or trying to go way past the windshield or something. So let me just turn it on and see what happens. Alright, well, that's good. The wipers actually moved. Alright, so I should be good to put the wiper arms on in that position and all the bolts are tight. So I got that wiper motor finished up and I can put the wipers on intermittent and they actually work and they stop where they're supposed to. So that's nice, that's fixed.